This content is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Now, it never fails, but every single time I do an update video with my packs, there's always another update right after. It's not a conspiracy anymore. But this time, I'm actually early. So, I just want to let you know that I have updated my CFW pack for Atmosphere 1.9.3 now, and it supports the latest Switch Farmer 20.3.0. So all the links are going to be in the description. You'll have the two separate zip files, the Atmosphere 1.9.3 and Hecate 6.3.1. It hasn't been updated yet, but it still works just fine. And if there is any type of updates, I'll have the update um, on my GitHub and you can download that as well as my modified version of the AIO Switch Updater app. I've updated the links there as well. So if you use my modified version of the AIO, then you can um, already see the updated files. Um, I also added the Farmer 20.3.0 in my modified AIO updater app as well. So we're gonna go through the steps again <laughs> to update with the AIO. And with that being said, let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so like I said in the intro, all of the links are gonna be in the description down below. You will have two options to update your CFW. You can do the option where you download both of my pre-made zip packs, the other side AMS 1.9.3 and Hecate 6.3.1 and update your SD card manually from the PC. Or you have the option of using my modified version of the AIO Switch Updater app and you can update to my packs directly from the switch. So we're gonna be using this, the AO Switch Updater app for this video, but if you're interested in a separate video where I update the SD card manually, I can do that as well. Just let me know in the comments below. All right, so that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so before we get started, those of you that already have my modified version of the Updater app, you do not need to follow this part. This is for those that do not have it yet. And with that, we can go ahead and continue with downloading this one zip for today. So if you look in the description down below, you should look for the link that says click here to download the other side AO switch updater. And once you click on the link, it should take you to my GitHub page and then scroll down to the assets area and click on that link to start the download process. But after you're done, you can have it moved to the desktop. And then now we can open up the SD card. Now your SD card has to have CFW already in order for you to be able to access the app. And if you don't, then you would most likely need to do the manual option of adding uh, the updated pack on your own, but that's a separate video. So with that, it doesn't matter how you open up your SD card, as long as you're able to transfer your files successfully, I always use Hecate SD card tools, and I really recommend that, never have any issues, but it's up to you, just be careful. Now that we have the SD card open and the file downloaded, we can use our zipping software to extract. I always use 7-zip, never have any issues with it. And if you wanna follow along with me, I'll have a download link to that as well. But with 7-zip, I'm gonna open the archive. And here we have just a switch folder. So make sure that you're in the root of your SD card and then just extract it to the empty space of your SD card, just so that way you don't accidentally put it inside the folder. And there you go. Now it's telling me to replace because I already have it. But that's pretty much it. Now we should be able to go onto the switch and try it out. But, you know, just a disclaimer, those of you that are on a firmware that's lower than 17.00, this app might not work for you. You can still try it out if you'd like. But if it does not work for you and then you're not able to access your CFW no more, it's not broken. All you need to do is just uh, update it manually. So let me know if that happens to you, and then I can try and help you out. Leave a comment down below on that. But otherwise, we're done with the SD card. Let's go ahead and try it out on the Switch. Okay, so here on the Switch, before we do anything else, I want to show you all real quick that I am on a lower Switch firmware. So if I go down to my system settings, you can see that I'm on the current version 20.1.5 with Atmosphere 1.9.2. I like to do this reference because as we go along together and do all the updates, I like to come back and show you all that we should be updated to the firmware 20.3.0 and Atmosphere 1.9.3. And just letting you know that even though I'm up updating the firmware as well, there is no need to update the firmware 
but I just do that because it's an option that I have on this video. So if you want to just update atmosphere, that would be up to you. But we're going to update both the firmware and atmosphere as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and continue. And the next thing that we need to do is make sure that we have an internet connection already established. So you see above my head, I have my Wi-Fi internet connected. And the last thing that I recommend is using HB menu without Apple mode. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you go into album alone, you enter the HB menu with those big red letters that says Apple mode on the top of the screen. And here I don't recommend using the app because you're not using the full power of the switch. So it would be best to use um, a title override or HB menu without Apple mode. So there's two options that you can do with that. You can do a, forwarder like i have here for the hb menu that enters without apple mode or you can do a title override and a title override means that if you have an installed title that you already have on your switch you can hold down the right shoulder button keep holding it down and enter your title and if done correctly keep holding it in and you'll enter the hb menu without apple mode so this is where you want to use the app so you have those two options i'm going to be using my folder because it just supports the channel so it does the same thing without Apple mode but so if you have everything like that uh, good to go then we can navigate to the app and you'll know that it's my modified version because it says the other side AIO switch updater there are two versions the original from the dev and the one I modified and there's nothing different from the one I modified all the credit is still due to the dev it's just I used I made this app to look for my hacks on my github so just letting you know but if you have an internet connection we can go ahead and enter it so if everything goes well you should be able to go to update atmosphere and see my uh, newest pack so it should say the other side ams 1.9.3 also bootloaders has been uh is the same and once uh heck eight has been updated if there is any need to update then i will update the aio as well as long as my um the github page also download firmers does have the firmware 20.3 if you're interested and everything else does not work on this app so you can have both the original and mine because the original keeps getting updated for other things Maybe in the future I'll update mine, but for now it still works for just what I want it for. It's just to look for my packs without any issues. So with that, right, so we can go back to update atmosphere, then click on the other side, MS 1.9.3, then click on continue. After it's done downloading, I always get this message here of, do you want to override existing INI config files? I always click on no, but for some reason it works on yes or works on no and others. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on yes this time because it doesn't really change anything. There hasn't been any types of uh, configurations. And if you have issues, then you probably just need to delete the config file. So if it crashes for me, then I'm gonna go ahead and delete that config file in the configuration folder on the SD card. So let's click on yes. And it did. So we need to go back into the SD card. Okay, so this is where our I'm having an issue, I believe. So if you go into the config file, you have the uh, all your configurations for multiple things that you use, but we have the AIO switch updater here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete it. And then now we can go ahead and go back and try it out. So now that we're back here, we can go back into the HP menu, make sure you have your internet connection and Okay, so we've deleted the config file. So now it's like it's a brand new AIO switch updater. Go back to update atmosphere, then click on atmosphere 1.9.3, then click on continue. And then here, do you want to overwrite? Just click on yes. Okay, so that worked out. Now it has this other option that says you want to delete all the custom sys module startup flags. This will turn off all your sys modules and prevent crashes. Go ahead and click on yes after that. After the instruction is done, it's going to ask you if you want to download Hecate and it'd be up to you if you want to download Hecate. I know some people still use only Atmosphere without Hecate. So you can either click yes or no, but in this case, I'm going to click yes. So that way I can have the updated uh, um, Hecate as well. Do you want to overwrite the existing INI config files? Here you can click on yes 
as well because it's my pack or we can click no because it's always the same on my pack so i'm gonna go ahead and click on yes just to keep it without any issues that's it so once we're done this is going to reboot back into hecate and you should have your updated cfw because here we go now we should be updated with hecate i know it's blurry but just to give you some context it's 6.3.1 and if you have EMUMMC, you can go into EMUMMC and uh, see if it's disabled. You will ha probably have to re-enable it, if anything. But all you need to do next is just go into launch, and you'll have all these launch options. If you are using my um, my packs for the first time, you have the first option is OFW. That's your original uh, stock switch with no CFW. Second one has Fusey Bin with Assistant. Third one has Fusey Bin with EMUMMC. The fourth one has the package three updated from FSSO, Assistant, and package three EMU MMC. I have all these options because for some reason it works with Fusibin with for a lot, and for others it doesn't work, and vice versa. For some reason it only works for people with package three. So I just added all of the options. They all do the same thing, but if you're unsure, just go ahead and start with the first one. If you are not using EMU MMC, this is the one that you would do. Okay, so back on the switch, we can go and see if we are updated with Atmosphere. Going to System Settings, go down to System, and we can see that we are now at AMS 1.9.3. And I have an S because I'm using my CFW on SysNand. If you have an E, because you're using yours on EMU MMC. But we still have the version of Farmer at 20.1.5. And if you want to update, that's up to you. That's what we're going to do now. We're going to go back into the AL switch updater and download the 20.3.0 and update with Daybreak. So let's go ahead and do that. Same principles apply. Make sure you have an established internet connection. Enter HB menu without app mode. Go back into my modified version of the AL switch updater. Now go down to download firmwares and then look, locate the 20.3.0. These are downloaded or dumped directly from my switch and I test them before I release them so everything should be fine but go ahead and download the firmware and then let it extract okay so once the extraction is complete it asks you if you want to launch daybreak to install the sys update go ahead and click on no because for some reason every time you click on yes it crashes so let's go ahead and click on no and let's go back to home and let's re-enter the hp menu without apple mode go into daybreak this time so click on install, then locate the folder that says, I think it's firmware. There you go, 20.3.0, and click on it. Gonna wait for it to validate. This also has FAT32 and XFAT supported, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, once it's valid, you can click on continue. So remember the purple is the option. So click on continue, then click on preserve settings. Click on install FAT32 plus XFAT, then click on continue. All right, once it's done uh, successfully, you can click on reboot. Should take you back to Hecate. Since you use my packs, my packs always go back to Hecate. Just, just uh, launch and then go back into the CFW. Okay, so after you get back onto the switch and you had no issues or errors, then you should be good to go. But we can also check to see if we're updated by going back into system settings, going down to system. And you should see now your current version at 20.3.0 with Atmosphere 1.9.3. And like I said, if you're using S, you're using yours on SysStand. If you have an E, you're using yours on EMU MMC. Now, all of my packs come with protection for updating. So if you're going to try and go online with SysNand, you will probably encounter errors because. Uh, I have blockers, so you don't accidentally update. Just letting you know that. But if you want to take it off, it's a host file inside of Atmosphere folder that you can remove in case you want to go back to using online uh, services on uh, CFW with SysNet. But there we go. You can test very well if you have any of your installed titles are still working. My best test is if you have any type of forwarders if forwarders are working, then everything should be working. So let's go ahead and enter it. And if it boots, then we are good. So that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any errors. 
you can leave a comment down below and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. Let me know if it does work for you and it, everything went smoothly. So like I said, if, if everything uh, works well, then you shouldn't have no issues. But if the AL crashes when you're trying to do the extraction with uh, Atmosphere, then deleting that config file would help and uh, everything else should be fine. But of course, let me know on that. And um, I'm glad I'm early this time. Hopefully there's no updates right after this, but if there is, then I'll update when I can. But other than that, hope everything is working for y'all like it's working for me. And thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.